All right, here we go, French Montana. Welcome back to Vlad TV. <laughs> Big Vlad, man. How long has it been, baby? It's been 12 years. Fuck, man. It's been 12 years Fuck. since our last interview, man. Fuck. And you know something? Me and you, I feel, are like the same freshman class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, me and you started around the same time. Matter of fact, now that I think about it, when you had Cocaine City uh, DVD, I had Hot in Here DVD. Yeah. We used to wait at the labels side by side. Yeah. Waiting to interview artists. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. One million percent. Right. And then when Vlad TV started, you were one of the first people that was was kind of like a regular guest. You yeah. were one of my first regular guests on the show. Yeah. Actually, one of, one of my biggest videos was um, with you was I'm So Special. Right. Yeah, right. That, yeah, that video is what started my career. People like everywhere I go, they're like, yo, perform I'm So Special. Yeah. That like yeah, the start. Man. It was we right was before rocking with each called. other early on. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll be back. Full yeah, cycle. Yeah. Many millions of dollars later. <laughs> You had a few more millions than I did, but I got a few millions, you know? Now you live five <laughs> minutes away from me, man. We got the same millions, baby. Hey, man, listen. We live in similar neighborhoods. For real. Eat the same food, wear the same clothes. For real, man. Hey, man, we're, we're both happy, and yeah. I'm glad that you are where you are right now. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And I've been out. And you know what? And I was listening to interviews, and I was like, when you, the interview you had with Yayo, and I was mm -hmm. like, I got to go see Vlad. They speaking highly about me over there. Yeah. And that's my guy since day negative one. Yeah. So, yeah, you know I've never saying? bashed you. Never, 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 yeah. never. Appreciate that. Of course, man. Of course. Well, we've done a lot of interviews, but I want to get the whole story this time. Yeah. So I want to start in the very beginning. So you were born in Casablanca, Morocco. Yeah. Okay. And at the time, it was you, your father, your mother, and a younger brother. Yeah. And you were there until you were about 13 years old. 13, yeah. Do you remember Morocco at that time? Yeah, I remember my father um I remember my father working. I remember he was he was selling gold and he was just in and out the streets. Cuz when I when I was born, he was locked up. So he was in and out of jail the whole time. Locked up for what? Um I don't know. I, I don't even ask. Okay. You know what I'm saying so he was locked up. He was in and out the country. He was doing his thing. So I remember I remember him my mother just used to be a stay-home mom and he used to be and not the country again, again his money. And when I was thirteen, I just remember him like, "Yo, um, you know, we got we got visas." So maybe he got the visas to get out of, you know, what I'm saying to get out of country for some pair of reason or whatever it is. But I didn't know what the what the cost was. But I know he he saved up enough money that he can go to the United States and 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 try to live the American dream mm -hmm. and take his kids over there because honestly, there wasn't no opportunities in in, in, in North Africa like that. I mean, you were both uh, immigrants. Yeah. I was born in Ukraine. It was USSR mm -hmm. at the time. So for both of us, English wasn't our first language. No. So you speak Arabic and French? Yeah. Okay. Do you still speak French? Well, when, when we came from um, Morocco, my mother my mother never spoke French. So um, I just I just kept on speaking to her in, Mor in Moroccan, which is like broken Arabic. It's like Jamaican English. Huh, like a patois kind of? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I would speak to somebody from... from you know, from Dubai or from Iraq or from the people that really speak the 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 real Arabic, they won't they won't even understand what I'm saying. So it's really? like yeah, so like it's broken Arabic, Moroccan speak. So um, you know, when my mother came back, I was speaking French to her, but I lost like half of my French, but I'm I'm still fluent in Moroccan. Okay, so when you go to Paris, do you understand people speaking French? Yeah, or? yeah, I, I mean I can understand. You I just can't really speak. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's just like being away from somewhere for so long. It's like you lose you lose that. Okay. The lingo. Okay, and you guys settled in the South Bronx. Yeah. Okay, so you were in the South Bronx for two years when your dad decided to go back. Yeah, when my when my dad decided to go back, he uh, he kind of came and he kind of tried to do a bunch of businesses. You know, he started the first business, it 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 went bad on him. The second one, it went bad on him. The third one, it went bad on him. The fourth one, he took me with him to pick up some money that some people owe him. We went there. They didn't have the money. He broke the whole store. Hmm. It was just getting bad at one point. So he just, it got to a point where he submitted for his papers and they denied him. So he went back to Morocco. Okay. Your mom was pregnant with another baby. Yeah. At that time. Yeah. That's a little weird, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Leaving three kids, well, two kids with one on the way behind to fend for themselves. Yeah to go back to your original country. Because like I said, I'm an immigrant also. I can't yeah. imagine my dad leaving me and my mom and going yeah. back to Ukraine. Like, that sounds crazy to me. Yeah, yeah it was crazy because he told, he told my mother, he, he told my mother, he said, let's leave Kareem behind, which is me. 
He's like, he's like, let's leave French behind and let's take both um, the kids and go back. My mother was like, I'm not going back. But you were what, 13 at the time? Yeah, I was like, yeah, like 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 16. Okay. At that time, like two years we was there. So like, like, yeah, like two, three years. And she was like, I'm not leaving my son. So he was like, if you want to stay, stay with him. I'm going to leave. Well, how would a 16-year-old survive? I don't it know. doesn't make any sense. doesn't make That's no sense. It's a weird sense. question, right? Because you got to remember, I don't have my papers. Ha. Uh-huh. So I came here on an I-20 visa. So I-20 visa, it burned out after six months. Mm. So his his plan was, like, once we get to the States, we figure it out. We got to the States, the I-20 visa burnt out. So basically now I'm living like an alien. I'm like, I can't get no job because I don't have my papers. I can't go to college because I don't have my papers. You know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing normal that every American take for granted. I can't do nothing normal. So basically it's like I'm locked up without being locked up. So a kid that's 16 years old, like what, what is he supposed to do but sell drugs? Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing you you can do. Or, or just hustle anything. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you just got to. And when you sell drugs, you can't really sell drugs because if you get locked up one time, you get deported. Aha. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so it's like you. It's like it's like it, it's an impossible situation to make it out. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So I was 16. He left. When he left, I basically became my mother's husband, and my 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 brothers was became my two kids. Yeah. So I had a family before I even think about having my own family. Right. You had three kids or well, two kids, basically. Yes. And and, 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 and mind you, my, support. Yeah. Mind you, my mother don't speak English, so she never picked it up. Never picked it up. She still don't didn't pick it up until now. Huh? She don't. She doesn't care about it. She's just here for us. She's like you know. She know a couple words here and there. We'd be laughing at her still, but <laughs> she never. She never picked it up. You know what I'm saying? So she's. She basically just sacrificed. 